What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Today, we're going to take a quick little walk through a maximum security prison in Minnesota. I'm going to react and compare these uh, cells, whatever they're about to show us inside this prison, to what I've seen. I've been to prison two times, and uh, I haven't been to a maximum security prison. I guess you'd say like the max level, but I have been in multiple maximum security dorms where it's 23 and 1. Well, not really dorms, more like cell blocks, segregation for getting in trouble. And, you know, I really still to this day don't really understand the word maximum security because you'll have level twos that say maximum security at the end of it, you know? So I think anything other than a level one, it could be considered a maximum security unit. I'm not sure. But anyways, I hope you have your walking shoes on because we're about to begin the tour. This is a very rare look inside uh, what is considered the most secure facility in the state of Minnesota correction system. This is the clean as hell control unit at Oak Park Heights, a prison within a prison. God, they got more electrical the attachments reason they're showing my room. Us around today is because like so many other employers. First of all, what kind of cell door is that? That looks like a normal screen door. I would love to look out that thing all day. I'd wake up every morning in my cell and probably think I'm in a barn, uh, maybe on Little House of the Prairie, something like that. I could draw uh, some trees and a pasture on the sides here. And man, I would really escape that cell every morning with the sun beaming in. Because look, they got a window right here. That thing is obviously letting in a sunset like no other. Look at the countertops, they're completely perfect. Look like out of shaved marble. The mats, this is what we call in prison a Cadillac, okay? Uh, if the mat is, you can still see the thickness in it, that means it's probably new and that's a high commodity. Most people have to get two mats or three to stack them up just to get the thickness of one of those brand new Cadillacs. So uh, as a matter of fact, I've told stories about people walking into the cell block with these new mats and they actually become a target because this is their first time in jail they don't know no better but they became a target because they got the best mat in the block see people don't be telling you this shit man you gotta be careful with them damn caddies but look at these electrical outlets he's got two right here this look what is this an emergency button intercom i don't know but it, it's state of the art the cell is definitely state of the art now you can't really see too good but this is definitely uh a place for the worst of the worst because they keep the showers inside the cell for them. They don't want to have to probably do movements every day to take them to the shower, so uh, they keep them locked up and in there. The only movements they probably get is to the rec yard for an hour a day, if that. And that's, like many of y'all already know, uh, pretty much just the dog cage. But I would love to have a cell that had a shower within it. You know, actually, I've seen a jail, uh, jail cell block like that kind of before. You got the state-of-the-art hanger system right next to the shower, so you can uh, align all of your state outfits just right. We got two more electrical outlets. Man, this this cell's jumping. I don't really know what this is. Possible another outlet that they have there just in case they might need it, and they sealed it up with some kind of metal plate, but, you know, get the right guy into that cell, uh, that thing might be getting popped open. See, all the cells that I've been in have never been this pretty. This is just the mirror. Look, the mirror's not even scratched. This has got to be a brand spanking new cell. But in showing us around the massive facility, places like the inmate-run kitchen, the inmate-run barber shop, the various confinement units was much more than a tour. This is a pretty standard wow. room. It was all about. Look at that damn room there. That's a pleasant cell. He's got the padded back on the plastic chair with the dim lighting and the double barrel windows. Unreal, man. Perfect setting to watch those soap operas on that 8 inch. But one thing I am recognizing here, when you go into a cell for the first time, uh, you might see a big ass square on the wall. And that's usually the designated picture area for you to put your family photos and stuff like that. And this guy ain't got nothing in it, right? Well, I didn't put nothing in mine either because people like to eyeball your photos or they might even try to steal them or something like that who knows you don't want people knowing what your family looks like especially in prison but that's just me that's just me you know you can share your photos maybe with a closer friend or something but uh, i i put in my square at one point i trust no one but you could always tell when someone's been there for a long time if they got photos up in the square because the photos would be like from the 80s 
They got 80s hair, dude, wearing damn feel of windbreakers and shit. You're like, damn, bro, how long you been down? 82. Yeah, he's just doing his thing. Yeah, he Last is. Last month, Oak Park Heights had to close one of the nine units here because they simply don't have enough corrections officers. Now this month, for a limited time, they're offering a $10,000 bonus. Limited time, y'all. corrections officers. Here Which at one of y'all want to be old, is CO. Well Stillwater and Rush City. Head on down I to do Minnesota. Feel safe with uh, Get yourself a solid canine. staff right next to me, which is why recruiting uh, solid individuals to look. Correctional officers don't be saying the word solid. This guy's got connections with the inmates. Just a joke. I don't know the guy for real. It's just a joke. Recruiting uh, solid individuals to come in and be correct. They better have clean paperwork. Terrible is they took us into the maximum security wing where Derek Chauvin is serving his sentence. Oh, they stress shit. the levels of security and how much they focus on safety. Damn, if this is where perfect, homeboy's that's at. that's okay, but you give it the chance and you might discover an entirely new passion for the workplace. A whole new passion? Why'd she have to say it like that? <laughs> you give it the chance and you might discover an entirely new passion for the workplace. That's what they used to say about me back in the day before they started dating me. Look at these halls here, jeez. This is an unreal facility. Squares perfectly aligned from red rum. And I've never seen in my 90 years a window like this in the hallway. What is this, a brew through? It's a good job. Um, positive work environment. I have fun. Till someone the gets stabbed. The $10,000 bonus is for the training academies in September and October. And you don't get it right away or all at once half after the first year of employment, the probation period. Ah, and there's a catch. After the second. I want it all. I want all my money now. Levels. San Quentin, new fish. Bobby. Bobby, close your legs when you walk. God. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully, you enjoyed the little breakdown of a maximum security prison in Minnesota. And that last clip was really from San Quentin. Those guys were catcalling some uh, scared straight juvies coming in. Scared straight is a program for juveniles, you know, to go through the adult prison and get scared up a bit. Try to change them from their ways. I went through two of them. And they were kind of scary at times, but it didn't really change my ways. They brought their worst tray to us to eat, the bean and rice tray. And I was like, damn, this thing ain't that bad. Next thing you know, I was really eating it, you know, for years. Anyways, I'm not no more and I'm never going to again. Stay free, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. Death thinks he funny. <laughs> I'm tired of him smacking my head off my head. Damn good.